About time for me to stretch my legs, Cat. Right. Listening to a mono sound bill maps. You know, I think mono is pretty damn good. It's less distracting, if you know what I mean. I wouldn't be too bad if it could be mono 1.1. So you're going to have the extended frequency response down to say, let's say 1 hertz. And let's extend the frequency range up to 90,000 kilohertz. Because, you know, I've got to entertain my cats, you know. <coughs> that time is. The important thing is to get Gallica out of the cockpit. Leave it to me. Because there is things in nature that, the diving is the best part. that can go up to about um, <clears throat> 90,000 kilohertz or more, depending if you're a bat or a dolphin. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Or a mouse. So that's usually what cats are listening to. Pitch frequency squeak. of the, the button on the extinguisher bottle that's been pressed. I can hear the, the little click on the button. Um, yeah. Of course, cool. you look at the mix. Of course, I would. Um, there's some sounds there that would be kind of, yeah, realistic in a way. Uh, you can't just turn it up and up and up and up and then to a point where dialogue is just going to sound unrealistic. <laughs> uh, because there's no way you're going to get the sound pressure of that, that, that sound on that, um, <laughs> that 747 engine. Especially with the extinguisher and it pushing through the air. <laughs> the sound pressure level would rip your ears off. But you get you get something that's a good sound, but yeah, it's not distorted. It's got its limitations here in the mix. I, I can hear it.
that's your second extinguisher bottle. There are two extinguisher bottles per engine. <laughs> I like the way suddenly the the, 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 air, the aircraft's pitching down at a steep angle. <laughs> and then next, it's, it's, it's suddenly recovered and it's going a bit more, you know, and then back the other way. Oh, I like that. Oh, flip it back. It's like, it's like a simulator. <laughs> oh, oh, that's brill. You think that would just rip the back off of the aircraft? Um, or maybe, whoa. In this case, it didn't. Mommy! She's wondering if she left the cooker turned on at home. You got everything like, you know, you got dialogue, yelling, sound, and such. You got music playing. Um, if you eliminate the the music track, and then I suppose then you should only hear then foley, a lot of foley detail, uh, any rustling sounds, body sort of sound movements, um, foley uh, uh, on floor surface. Um, um, anything touch, you know, so everything's mixed and then enhanced and such and uh, And then you got then the competition the music, but you know, there's not too much distraction like some film mixes that I listen to I tell you, you like take 300 that that rubbish movie rubbish movie rubbish sound mix rubbish 4k um, Not that I would buy it because it's rubbish on HDVD that doesn't play anymore um the mix on that movie is appalling. The music levels are so high on left and right, and you got this guy climbing the mountain. But you turn, you mute left and right, and you hear all the detail, like the foley sound. And I don't think there's much music mix uh, or difference in the music mix in the center. I think it's mostly foley and breathing sound. And then you got this blaring bloody music, but you can't hear that detail that's in the center channel <laughs> because. It's mixed by people that, um, that don't know how to mix. <laughs> I read somewhere usually um, a mono mix is more, I think I read somewhere it was years ago, it costs more to mix a mono mix than it would to do a stereo or Dolby stereo mix. Hmm. <laughs> Because I can hear all these sounds going on. I can hear all these sounds going on. And I'm very familiar with the real world sound. What things look like, sound like, hear, feel, sense, smell, and all that. Um, you know, a film like this, you could relate to, you know. I like the way the 747 engines, the, uh, sorry, the, uh, the wings, don't they look a bit like something out of Star for Star Trek the motion picture, the Enterprise and the nacelles on the engines because they got a, a kind of color pattern on the uh, on the wing and it, it's so familiar to like Star Trek the motion picture uh, Enterprise. Um, I guess they must have modeled part of the design of the new Enterprise on a 747. Hmm. Hmm. Um, I would have thought the engine hitting the flipping water like that at the speed, the water would just rip that bloody engine off because it would just push in it and it would be like so many tremendous uh, pounds of energy it would just probably shear that engine right off. But the glass all shattering. You know, going through the glass, you know, you probably mix that stereo and have it kind of like partly center and partly left and right, or maybe 
in my case, if it were me, I would probably have it left centered, left center, and uh, left center, right center, and uh, or inner channels and outer channels, to, or more, or maybe you know, just to give that sort of sound of brat last size shattering with something going through the middle, and then you know. And then you cut to something like that, and then you know, guy falling down. But the, you still hear the glass in the editing, so the glass would be um, boom. Let me see, where would it be? Uh, it would be on the, the lower floor because he's climbing up the stairs to go to the cockpit, and it's got thrown down. So the sound of the glass would be still below uh, and sound diffused because at that angle. Uh, it would sound diffused. It, it would have maybe some traces of directionality, depending. But then the floor is carpeted, so it's not going to, um, you know, you tingle too much. Unless glass lands on glass, it makes a tingle sound. Ah! <sighs> oh. Whoa! On the piano. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> And then you got sound of ocean, you know. I've, I've listened to so many utter rubbish movies. You take that rubbish Christopher Nolan movie. What what is it? Dunkirk. Mostly the theme or character in that movie is the ocean, the water. But I was so offended by that film mix, by the uh, overrated Academy Award mixers, because the English Channel only happens to be that way behind me only about four miles away or maybe about five for argument's sake behind me is the English Channel and I've been on it so many times on a boat and I was so offended with that Dunkirk movie it didn't sound anything like the ocean in this room nothing like it the mix balance on that movie was appalling <laughs> way you know the high speed uh, camera and that's all model work that's no CGI and look at that water look at that you know and and usually usually the biggest challenge in, in in when you're using model work with water is scale and it is use it usually is a very challenging thing I mean a few things that stick out like a a sore thumb like Spy of Love Me, the uh, gigantic oil tank had taken in the uh, the submarine um, during the f fifth act or whatever in the bloody movie. Um, you know, it, it, it some of the water does stand out like, yeah, you know, because it's a real, it's a real model, it's all real, but it's just maybe they should have made it a little bit more larger. Um, but you know, you only storyboard something like hmm, maybe this shot here, and we'll just have it a long shot. But we make the scale a bit, bit more larger. We don't have to put too much into it because it's only going to be kind of sat there, sort of thing. Um, and then you, you know, the scale of the water might just, you know, but water element is so awkward. Whether you do it in a bath or a swimming pool. A teaspoon of water, it's challenging. But that looks pretty damn good. That looks pretty damn good. I mean, it looks looks like the ocean waves are a bit choppy, not too choppy. Choppy is a, a you know, a fisherman sort of term. It's not very neat, it's not a neat tide, it's a bit choppy. That still looks pretty damn good. Into this in today. Yikes! Well, that's what you get trying to rip people off on an airplane. <laughs> ah, and that's that. That's, that's a mono mix. That is pretty damn good still. Pretty damn good.